If they're polymer notes, you can disinfect them. If they're paper notes, iron them. It does concern me. I don't want to overemphasize it, but at the same time, we do need to be alert to it and we still need to carry out those disinfection regimes, both personally and at a um, public level, even when there don't seem to be any cases around because there may well be some residual virus that you've missed. There's the sort of direct spread from a fomite, from, uh, from a surface. In other words, you put that surface directly into your mouth. For example, the rim of a, a beer glass that someone has put their thumb across when they're taking it off the shelf uh, and you then put, put it straight into your mouth. Or indirectly, you touch something that's contaminated and then put your fingers in your mouth or rub your eyes. The, the mucosal surfaces on the eye are, are, uh, also is a, a way of becoming infected. Some of the surfaces we looked at were things like vinyl, um, you know, very, very uh, good at preserving viruses. So this is things like uh, taxis, you know, public transport uh, vehicles, armrests on cars, aeroplanes, you know, all of these things, they're, they're, they're all, they all contain these plastic vinyl surfaces that do seem to be uh, where the virus does seem to be able to be preserved for quite long periods. going to survive for much longer in cooler conditions uh, and, and that's irrespective of whether it's on a surface or whether it's in the air uh, so I could imagine that in a, a, a cold uh, environment with no direct sunlight uh, it would um, uh, survive for quite a long time in that air and, and wouldn't be very rapidly uh, destroyed so this may help to explain why the sort of environments such as slaughterhouses uh, would uh, be potentially a, a, a more hazardous area in terms of if there is someone who's infected, uh, then you, you could stand a better, easier chance of picking it up.